Glenn Grant, 15-year-old batch strength first edition. What's it like and should you be grabbing this? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Christmas greetings, my whiskey friends. Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you a very special Glen Grant. This is the 15-year-old batch edition, batch strength edition number one. Let's uh, let's get that poured first of all. Now I think you've noticed that this is their th their second rebrand in the last five years. Now, in this case, not the bottle shape, but um, just the label design, the packaging, and uh, this really unique kind of like a, a bluish green aqua accent on the bottles. And we've got kind of a geometric pattern here, which, uh, which is pretty cool. So this is the batch edition, batch strength edition number one. It's 50% ABV. It's non-chill filtered. And it says that on the back of the bottle, at the very bottom, you'll see that in big letters. Let's see if I can show that to you. I'm guessing we've got a little bit of color added here, but not very much given the fact that it's quite a light color and also it's higher in proof. So let's check the color out. Now, I think as, uh, as you may know, I'm a Glenn Grant fan, and I've been a Glenn, a Glenn Grant fan since I found their 16-year-olds, the last, last iteration of their branding on an airplane for $50 Canadian per bottle. So I bought two, and I drank those, finished them right before the, the this channel began about six and a half years ago. I love their 10-year-old. And then all of a sudden they rebranded and I jumped in and got the 12 year old, which I thought was great. The 18 year old, you can find those reviews in the link below. Okay. In the, uh, the description. So check that out. So pretty nice color. Uh, uh, basically uh, I would say it's Amber minus one, not a lot of orangey glow there, but again, there could still be some color added. Okay. So how are the legs for this one? I'm expecting they'll be thick because it's 50% which is very close to the optimal um, 48. So here we go. Yeah, fairly beefy legs, I, I must say. Pretty showy, and I think that'll lend itself, especially the ABV here, to, uh, to a very nice, unique mouthfeel. Great. Okay. Oh, and um, I, this, this is written on the box and not on the bottle, but uh, let me just read this for you. Master distiller Dennis Malcolm, the longest serving distiller in Scotland, crafted this 15-year-old single malt scotch whiskey at 50% ABV, quote, batch strength, unquote, bringing an inter uh, inter intensified expression of the Glen Grant's signature style matured in hand-selected first-fill ex-bourbon barrels, ex-bourbon casks, and impactful flavor is further enhanced by non-chill filtration for a fuller texture. All right, so very interesting. So they've actually stated that the chill filtration and not chill filtering leads to a fuller, what did it say? Fuller texture. Great. So anyway, it's non-chill filtered, first fill X bourbon and uh, the nose folks, just huge orchard fruits. We've got, we've got apples, we've got fresh, like red Macintosh apples when they're super ripe. A little bit of candy apple in there. We've got some light, crisp white peach. These are the two predominant flavors I smell on the nose. A little bit of vanilla, tiny little bit of citrus as well. Uh, kind of like a, a citrusy vanilla, pardon me, lemon, lemon flavored, lemon, lemon in, 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 infused uh, vanilla icing, frosting, whatever you call it. Really, really candied, very sugary. But that, that big red apple is just right there. It's just right there. 
ready to pick. <laughs> All right, onto the palette. Cheers, folks. Mm. I'll say this right now, and I'll say it unreservedly. This is the best Glen Grant that I've had from the distiller um, since I started enjoying Glen Grant. This is number one. Super fruity, crisp, um, very, very bright sweetness. It's almost like fake scratch and sniff apples. But instead of scratch and sniff, if it were scratch and taste. So imagine scratch and taste apple. Natural flavor, but it's it's like that is the essence of apple. Then we got that white peach right there. A little bit of um, frozen vanilla custard. We have a vanilla liqueur that you might want to put in your coffee, for example. You know, this is really delicious. It tastes like an independent bottling of Glen Grant. And you're paying the very inexpensive Glen Grant price for this. A nice amount of water. So if you've got this, I expect you'll leave a comment or two about your thoughts. After you bought this, did you run out and grab another? Or did you give it away to a friend? Let me know your thoughts. Who is this not for? It's not for exclusive sherry bomb lovers who only like sherry. And also for peated malt lovers who only like peat. And if you're either of those, then I just want to challenge you and say that, you know what? Maybe you don't actually like scotch whiskey. Hmm. Especially if you just, if you will not, if you do not like Speyside, you do not like bourbon casks, uh, you don't, you do not like unpeated. Mm, there's something that does, doesn't add up there. Non sequitur. All right. So with water, cheers. Oh, and you can see a little bit of hazing developing here, a little bit of flocking. Um, so that's quite interesting. And if you compare that to the color of the bottle, you can see there's a little bit of a whitey, like, I don't know what the word is. Um, it's not quite as, 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 as clear. So that's great. All right. So the nose with water, a little bit more delicate citrus. We still have the, the vanilla there. The apples have taken a sidestep. We just have the um, the lemon citrusy and the vanilla. I'm expecting those will return though. There, the apples coming back a little bit here. And the white peach as well, but just ramped up vanilla. Okay, the palette. Cheers, folks. Still, just crisp orchard fruits. Really delicious, really vanilla-esque. 15 years was a good amount of time in cask for this. This reminds me a lot of Glenlivet Nadura, their ex-bourbon oak variety. Which, it just seems to be lacking in age. It's just too feisty. But this one is just very well-rounded. Mm. Some more tannins and astringency coming through with water added. But you can really see how cloudy that's getting. Another taste here. Mm. It's bringing forth a lot more 
let's say like peach skins, apple skins, fruit skins. It's much, much drier. Still very enjoyable here. Mm. Oh, but much crisper. I almost feel like, like bottle strength is best here. You do get some interesting changes in the fruit profile with water. But I think that probably for me, um, the balance of this bottle will be drunk neat or a couple, a couple of drams, maybe with just one or two drops of water. Okay, final taste. Hmm. Great. Well, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glen Grant, age 15 years, batch strength, first edition. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 91 out of 100. You heard it. 91 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glen Grant, age 15 years, batch strength, edition number one. Malt hug. Mm-hmm. And a malt kiss. Mwah. Mm, really, really enjoyable. And if you like X bourbon casks and you don't have this, hurry up and grab one because I think that you are going to enjoy that a lot. And I know that I will. So, and like I say, it's my favorite Glen Grant so far. And I've tried, I've tried the old, uh, 10 year old, the old 16 year old, the, um, Majors Reserve, the, the non-age statement. I tried the newer 12-year-old before it, it turned to this very interesting colored package. And the old 18. And now I've tried the Glen Grant 15. And here we are. Amongst those six, this is definitely my favorite. And if I messed up the uh, the score, I don't remember what the score was for some of the previous Glen Grants, but this is definitely the highest so if it's 91 or if it's 92, it should be number one out of the Glen Grant uh, range of uh, reviews. So, so anyway, um, grab one. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, check me out on Patreon and also on social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I think that's it. At Whiskey Whistle. Take care, folks. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.